Ichthyosaurs were the most specialized family of marine reptiles that lived during the Mesozoic era. Their name, fish lizards, is derived from their fish or dolphin like body shapes. Their bodies were extremely streamlined, which allowed them to become fast swimmers. Ichthyosaurs did not rely on their flippers to swim unlike another group of marine reptiles called plesiosaurs. They had instead developed fish-like tails, which allowed them to move laterally to propel themselves like sharks. Ichthyosaurs become so fully adapted to marine life that they evolved to give life birth, as they were unable to come onto land to lay eggs. The ichthyosaur family derives their name from the genus Ichthyosaurus, meaning fish lizard. It is one of the best known prehistoric animals as the graphic record of its remains has been preserved in shales in southern Germany. These rocks were laid down in shallow waters during the early Jurassic. Several hundred complete skeletons of Ichthyosaurus have been discovered, and remarkably, their bones still articulated with each other. Incredibly, the bones of infants have also been found inside the bodies of adults. Specimens have also been found where an infant was emerging from its mother, with the tail first as in modern whales when they give birth. This provides without a shadow of a doubt that these marine reptiles gave live birth. Fossil remains from Germany have also revealed what these animals looked like in life. A thin film of carbon had been laid down around many specimens, outlining the exact shape of their bodies when they still had flesh on their bones. They reveal the characteristic features of an ichthyosaur, the high dorsal fin on the back, the half-moon shape of the tail fin, with the backbone angled down sharply into its lower lobe, and the short hydrofoil-shaped paddles that enclosed the elongated toes of the limbs, the front pair longer than the hind pair, the nostrils of Ichthyosaurus were located far back on its snout, close to the eyes, which meant that the animal simply had to break the surface of the water to breathe. The bones of the ear were large and could probably transmit mind vibrations from the water to the inner ear, so the direction of potential prey could be judged. However, the most important sense organ for looking for prey would have been the eyes, which were both large and probably sensitive.